All right, guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to rebase a song using Audacity. Uh, rebase, respeed, uh, fix up a song using Audacity. Okay? A couple of my friends wanted to know how I do this, and this is how I use this program in order to do this. May not be the right way, may not be the way that everybody does it, but this is the way I do it. So, here we go. First of all, I open, this is how I do it. I open up Audacity. I, I get the file open. I take a song, let's see, I'm going to open up something that people, I can't get in trouble for. Something that's a friend of mine's. Um, I'll use a Basotronics bass music, good friend of mine, um, I'll use his song in order to do this. This is bass from hell outro, this is just a song that he gave me to try and demo and it's a cool song so we'll throw it in there and I'll show you what the kind of thing that I do with this. Okay, once you, once you drag and drop the song onto Audacity, it'll automatically load up. Now this is the, this is the quick and simple easy skinny method for the way I do it. Most of the time I slow songs down or speed them up depending on where they're at. So if, if a song's got like 20 hertz through the whole song, I'll probably speed that up a little bit. In order to speed it up you go to effect and I always do my speed the first. Now write this down if you have to because trust me I've tried it all different ways and this is the way it works the best. You change your speed the first. So before I do that here, I'm just going to play this a little bit. You can see kind of the speed that the song plays at. These, song, these speakers don't have a whole lot of bass, so you're not going to get that effect out of this right now. But you would in your own system. Um, okay, you can see kind of the speed the music's playing at, right? Okay, now I'll take that and we will change that speed. Now let's say that your system's tuned a little lower than most people's for whatever reason. You got a real long port or something. Let's just change this 10%, okay? Most of the time, I'll change my songs anywhere between 6% and 15% negative, usually. Slow them down by 6 to 15%. If I speed them up, I usually speed them up about the same. You know, it's usually between 5 and 15% somewhere. So, uh, this one will do 10%. So there we go. We just turn her down by 10%, and there's your slow. Okay, so there, it's been slowed down by 10%. Now I'm just going to play this again real quick, and I'll show you, I'll play it from the middle. Noticeably slower. Now, when you do that, when you slow your music, it's automatically going to move the frequency of the music down. It slows the music down, it changes the frequency and the pitch, and it broadens the, the curves out. So if you're slowing your music, realize that you're, that you're lengthening all this stuff out and making it possible to hurt your stuff more. But I'm going to show you now my secret trick to doing this without hurting my stuff. Uh, okay. Now, after I've slowed it, I, I go to Effect and I go to Bass Boost, okay? And generally what I'll do on my Bass Boost is I'll boost it anywhere between, you know, 35 hertz and 100 hertz. So on this song, let's, let's go to 77 hertz because it's a pretty wide range song. So I'm going to just set it at 77 hertz. That's a good number to pick. And we'll boost it by, let's just go with five decibels, okay? And now, when I boost this, you're going to see a noticeable difference in the screen. Now watch. Okay, now you see where the clipping came up, all right? That's clipping. 
those parts there that are red. Now, because I've got a different part set to do that, and if you, if you need to know how to do that, ask me and I'll tell you. I don't want to show you that right now. Uh, now, after I've base boosted, which you see where the base, you know, the, the clipping comes up and the base boosting here, uh, I go to equalize. And I've come up with my own equalization curve that I prefer for my truck, okay? It's real base heavy around 60, 70, 80 hertz. Uh, it's boosted from 100 hertz down to, you know, down to, to, to zero hertz, basically. But in the 20 hertz range, it isn't, it isn't boosted as much. So I boosted a lot around 60 hertz, quite a bit in the 30 to 40 range. And then the, the high end, I got that picked up too because I don't have as many mid-range speakers in my truck as some guys do. So if I cut some of that mid-range out and pick up the high end and the low end, it sounds a little better in my particular setup. So I always do it like this. So there's my equalization. All right, now I'm going to click this OK, and you're going to see this is going to grow again. And look at that. It's clipped. It's fully clipped all the way down the song. Now, here's the secret that I figured out. Once you get it to this point, and you've equalized it and you've clipped it and you've bass boosted it all the hell and it looks terrible like this. If you play it, you'll blow your subwoofers up. <laughs> or something stupid, start your amps on fire. Well, here you go. Now you go to amplify up here on the top of the, the list of effects. And when you go to amplify, it automatically will tell you what reduction and amplification that you need in order to get that back to a non-clipped state. So it will just have the boost frequencies without the clipping. Do you understand that? You have, might have to watch this a few times to understand. But when you when you click amplify, it will automatically have the amount right here that you need in order to declip it. So see, if you click allow clipping, then it won't say that. If you leave that allow clipping unclip un unclicked, now hit this OK. Now it's going to take all that clipping back out of this and make it good again so there's no clipping through the whole song. And what that does is it just boosts the brain bass frequencies and stuff way up so it's, it sounds punchier and heavier than it did before, but it's still not clipping, okay? Now some music you don't need to do this to. You know, there's going to be a lot of stuff like from Basotronics and Rob Basaholic Grimes and uh, bass mechanic records in general uh, that you're not going to have to do this kind of stuff to. Mostly I do this stuff for music that I like the music but it's not heavy and, and bassy. And I do that so I can play it in my truck and it sounds cool. Like, you know, just any any music that, that you like could be, it doesn't matter, it could be diva music. You could put some big bass in it if you want to. And of course there's lots of other things on here but that's basically how I slow or speed up and bass boost my music and then de-amplify it. And that gets you back to a non clipped state where you can play without hurting your stuff. And it's worked for me for many, many months. So if you guys want to give that a shot, give it a shot. See what you can do, guys. I think it works pretty good.